Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title and my intro, I am doing a recreation for Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. And I asked on Facebook what you guys wanted to see for a TV character recreation. And most of you chose Khaleesi. So this is also a one brand tutorial featuring all L'Oreal products. They are kindly sponsoring this video. So if you're not into sponsored videos, then just click X and I'll see you guys in my next one. But if you want to see how I recreated Daenerys makeup from Game of Thrones, then just stay tuned. To begin, I started out using my Magic Lumi Primer. Now I'm using the Infallible Pro Map Foundation, which is relatively new, but this is the first time I ever tried it was on camera for this video. And I really, really love the finish of this foundation. I'm not necessarily a matte foundation lover, but this does work really well with my skin and I tend to have dry skin. So using that Lumi Primer prior to using this foundation is a really good combo if you have normal to dry skin like myself. For concealer, I'm using this illuminating one from the True Match line, and I'm just putting this in a triangle shape underneath my eyes, and this is going to really brighten and lift my under eye area, which works perfectly for Khaleesi's makeup because she has this ethereal type natural beauty going on, but she's definitely wearing some makeup in this show, you can tell, but it looks very, very natural and just absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm just using that beauty blender again to blend out my under eye concealer and just match it to my foundation. Just blend everything seamlessly in. If you have oily skin, you're going to want to take this step to set your whole face, but I don't. So I'm just using the Pro Matte Powder to set my concealer underneath my eye so it won't crease. For my eyebrows, I'm going in first with this Brow Artist Designer Pencil. And I'm going to use the spoolie end just to comb through my brows. I'm combing them up just to make them look a little bit more full and bushy. And I'm combing them out as well so it's a little bit straighter than my natural brow shape. For Khaleesi's brows, I think this product works perfectly because she does have quite full brows. I have very sparse and thin brows so this is going to build up my natural brow hairs by adding some fibers. To tidy up my brows a little bit more because I am working with a different shape than I typically go with, I'm going to go back to that brow artist designer and just clean up the edges of my brows. Using the Pro Matte Foundation to spot conceal, I'm going to take this on a concealer brush and just drag it along the tops of my brows where I went a little bit crazy with that brow plumper. So I'm just cleaning up, up on top of my brows just to clean them up a little bit more because I do want this to look natural but I don't want it to look crazy. <laughs> so it was looking a little bit crazy because I am working with a different shape to my brows. But uh, this is just going to help it look a little bit more natural on my face. Game of Thrones is one of those shows that my husband and I both watch together. We really enjoy it and from what I can tell from Khaleesi's makeup on this show, she's sometimes wearing things on her lid and other times she isn't. So for the times she is, it's very subtle. So I went with this smoky eye pencil from L'Oreal and it's in the shade taupe. So I'm adding it to my finger first and then just applying it to my lid using my finger. This is a very minimal brush look. You don't need virtually anything to do this look except for the products. I was trying to keep it very minimal. So I'm just using that with my finger on my eye and blending it out with my finger. Super simple. And then I'm using that brow pencil that I used on my brows earlier and just drawing a little line on the top of my eyelid. And this is just going to make my lashes appear a little bit more full. You can barely tell this is on. I'm just kind of dotting it along my upper lash line just to add a little bit more fullness to my lashes. For Daenerys' makeup, I think it's essential to use a brown mascara as opposed to a black. Black can look a little too harsh for this look, especially since we're going for minimal and natural looking. So brown is going to be your best friend. I can't recommend that enough. So just put a little bit of brown mascara on your lashes. I'm focusing mostly on the root. I'm not even dragging the wand up for the full length of my lashes because I don't want to draw too much attention to them. So I'm just wiggling it along the root. Now I'm going back to using that Smoky Sumi from the Infallible range and putting this on my lower lash line. I'm just taking that sponge 
and using the tip of it very lightly along my lower lash line and then blending it out with my finger. Daenerys' cheeks are very minimal, if anything. I only notice a very light flush to her cheeks. So I'm skipping bronzer, contouring, all of that. I don't think it's necessary. Just a little bit of a nude blush to the cheek is perfect for this look. It's going to keep it natural and fresh, and this blush works perfectly for that. To make everything seamless in one, I'm going back to my beauty sponge and just blending that blush into my foundation. For lips, I think this is the absolute perfect lip color for Daenerys. It's called Never Ending Nutmeg in shade number 119. And this is from the Infallible range again, and it is a pro matte lip product. It also comes with a shine stick on the other end, so you can make it a little bit glossy. I noticed Daenerys sometimes has a glossy lip, but I'm keeping it matte. To finish off the look, I'm using this Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray and applying that all over my face. For my hair, I used the Fibrology Shampoo from L'Oreal as well and just did the simple style to match Daenerys. I know I don't have blonde hair, but I tried to make the most of what I do have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what other kind of TV characters you want to see in the comments section below and I will love to recreate those for you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.